Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a hold of both the box of chocolates as well as the dino candy for the Valentine's Day event. You can see that some is being dropped right now and I've got a bunch of those chocolates going. I've got a bunch of love bug hearts and then I've also got this candy that I'm about to pick up right now. And boom, there we go. Um, so yeah, this is how you get a hold of all of that stuff. I'm going to show you there is basically two major ways that you can get a hold of it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with it. So anyways, in order to get a box of chocolates or the dino candy, there is a 25% chance that when a creature is breeding, you can see that I've got my dodos breeding right now over here. There's a 25% chance each time that a male and a female breed, they will drop either a box of chocolate or a dino candy. Now, obviously you can see I've got a bunch of baby dodos, so it's definitely not 100%, it's only 25%. So that's a somewhat effective way to get it, especially if you have a bunch of tames, you can definitely harvest a whole bunch of these box of chocolates and the candies by doing that. However, there is another way. In order to do it, you can also go after the love bugs of the game. And the love bugs are basically, you can see them over here. They're just the giant bugs over on Ark, but a tiny, tiny version of them. There's one right there. You can see they kind of look funky. That guy right there is coming over to say hi. They have a ton of health, so you need to be aware of that. And they will shoot you with this red or this pinkish goo. So they have quite a bit of health. Now they can be difficult to take down, but when you do manage to take one of these love bugs down, uh, come on, just go away. You serious right now, buddy? How are you not dead? Thank you. All right, so once you do take one down, it'll fall to the ground. And inside of its inventory, you will find three love bug hearts. Now, those love bug hearts can then be used by putting them on a love fishing pole, which sounds really weird now that I think about it. But, you know, I'm not going to go too far into that thought process. Um, but when you put them on the love fishing pole, why am I not able to find it? There it is. You can then sit down in a chair inside of this game. And inside of that chair, you will be able to fish. Now, what you want to do when you are fishing, try and find some of the fish that have the hearts above their head. Specifically, the special coal will have that. And then you can sit on your chair, throw out that fishing rod in the water, and then fish for the coal. Now, those coal will then give you the ability when you reel them in to give you both of those options as well. They can give you the box of chocolates and they can also give you the dino candies in general. Now, yeah, I will say two basic things that you need to know about this. This method tends to be much quicker because you can just go around, find some of those uh, bugs of death, right? Get those bugs of death, kill them and put their hearts and feed the coal. Now, the cool thing about the coal is that you can actually get a five times multiplier, giving you better and better and better and better loot. Now, that is a very strong thing that you can do. Now, it functions like honey when you place one of these hearts, one of the, or whatever they're called. You see me up there. He's going to fire at me. By the way, if I was fishing and I took damage, it would cancel my fishing. But because I'm not technically am in GCM mode, it's not going to actually prevent me from doing anything. So we're just going to wait. Now, it basically functions like honey. So there we go. E, S, Z, X. There we go. So that one was not that was a bad coal. That's unfortunate. So you can take a quick break if you're being attacked by multiple of these bugs, for example, some of these love bugs and cool enough, they went ahead and gave me some stuff. But be careful, because if you sit up for too long and you do not have your fishing pole out, you will ruin your streak. Now, what I want you to notice is I have a streak on the bottom right. That streak is one out of five. You can get up to five out of five. And it's essentially going to combine the size of all of the fish that you catch, which means you're going to get better and better loot quality each time you catch a fish. Now, if you break the streak, obviously it's gonna start back at one, but this can actually get you a ton of loot, a ton of dino candies, as well as the box of chocolates. Now, this is the second way to get them. There is no other way right now to get this stuff. You cannot, I've tried harvesting the coals. It does not work. Um, so you either have to get it by breeding things or by fishing for these special coals. Now the hearts will continue to rise, which is useful, but as long as you catch a special coal, you will get the either box of chocolates or a candy. And obviously the more streak you get, the more you're gonna get. So having that five out of five, if you can kill some of the fish in the pond that are not having the hearts above their heads, see how that saber tooth salmon's right there? D, Q, X, Q, W, Z, Q, W. There we go. So you can see 
Not only do I get that box of chocolates with that one, I'm gonna go into my inventory, got another box of chocolates, but I'm also getting the actual inventory of that as well. You can see I've got a countdown timer of 16 seconds, give or take. So as long as you put your fishing rod back in the water in that 16 second window, you can continue your streak and you're gonna get more and more the more you fish. Now, I'm not gonna continue to make you watch this, um, but you will break your streak. You can see right there, I have to re-equip my fishing rod in that 18 second window. And uh, again, the more you fish, the more loot you're going to get, which is a really cool concept because it actually multiplies what you're able to get. So up to five. So if you were to catch five, one or higher, you're going to get some crazy, crazy. I've gotten some really nice loot out of that. But you will get in those two methods, whether you're breeding your creatures or not, you can see I come back and I've got a box of chocolates waiting for me. Look at that right there. I'm just going to like stop frame it almost <laughs> like box of chocolates. Um, so you got box chocolates by breathing or, or breeding, or you can get them by actually going over there and using the fishing method I just showed about. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.